My uh, piece over the weekend was called Currency Puzzles and a Weaponized Dollar. The global foreign exchange markets trade approximately $5.1 trillion of volume every day. Foreign exchange markets are the deepest and most liquid of all markets, and because of the leverage of bang for your buck, participants can access, it remains a place which can serve up the most exponential returns. And of course, because it's symmetrical, exponential losses as well. George Soros and Stanley Druckenmiller remain legends in the FX world for taking more than a billion dollars off the Bank of England in 1992. Something I recall as if it were yesterday because in the those days, I sat next to the FX desk at Credit Suisse First Boston and watched it unfold in real time. In 1992, the FX markets were voice traded and most FX traders came from the East End of London and many of them were playing raucous. Today, algorithmic and computerized trading rules the roost and markets can move dramatically on semantics and linguistics. Having watched the FX markets more closely than I've watched any woman except my wife, of course, let me deal with one canard, that canard being the imminent demise of the US dollar. Ever since I was a little boy in shorts in Mombasa, reading the back pages of The Economist, folks have been talking about the hegemony of the dollar and how this hegemony was set to be broken into a tiny little pieces. Iraq Saddam Hussein was keen to throw the dollar over and ended up dead. Libya's Muammar Gaddafi spoke of a dinar and ended up dead as well. The crypto evangelists have been knocking with an evangelical fervor that Reminds me of folks who'd been out all night, somewhere like the Ministry of Sound, tired and strung out a little, like Elon is behaving of late. If you are betting on the collapse of the dollar, please note it might take an eternity to pan out, and this year it will have proven extremely expensive. A trade-weighted index of the US dollar has climbed more than 5% this, this year and is nearing its all-time high. President Trump has apparently embraced a strong dollar and, of course, coercive financial warfare, and tweeted this on the 16th of August. Our economy is doing better than ever. Money is pouring into our cherished dollar in caps lock. Like really before, companies' earnings are higher than ever, Inflation is low and business optimism is higher than it has ever been. For the first time in many decades, we are protecting our workers. Year to date, the dollar has rallied about 37% against the Argentine peso and the Turkish lira. It's plus 16.21% versus the rand, plus 14.55% against the Russian ruble. I can find only three currencies that have appreciated against the dollar in 2018. The Mexican peso is plus 3.2%, Kenya shilling is plus 2.5%, Japanese yen is plus 2%. The Kenya shilling is the second best performing currency in the world in 2018, and that's why I headlined the article, Currency Puzzles. Essentially, the U.S. has been raising rates, making holding the dollar more attractive and reducing the supply of dollars. Previously, EM and frontier markets have been showering in a golden flood of cheap dollar liquidity. Had been borrowing dollars like there was no tomorrow, but are now scrambling to find those dollars because the golden shower has been switched off. EM asset prices have been particularly badly hit. FX and fixed income, City, MSCI, EM now down 20% from their January 25th peak. The EM currency index is down 16% from its peak in mid-February. And the MB spread has increased by 101 basis points since February. 
The India rupees at a record low, the rand at levels which are worse than when President Jakub Zuma was terminating his finance ministers, and even fell 10% intraday. President Erdogan, instead of seeking to bend the arc of history towards justice, has been seeking to bend the arc of monetary policy to his will. It won't happen, therefore stay limit short wretched time. According to calculations by Standard & Poor's, Turkey's GDP could shrink to $594 billion next year, the lowest level since 2006, and an unprecedented drop in wealth. As recently as 2013, Turkey was on the verge of a $1 trillion economy. Turkey's total stock market value is now $115 billion, less than the stock market cap of McDonald's. I believe we've embarked on a very big rally in the dollar and that there is a lot further to go. Now, if you want to chance your arm in this market, you can. Take a look at EGM Securities and watch our daily update on YouTube. This is a photograph of George Soros and Stanley Druckenmiller uh, around the period when they took the Bank of England. It was actually a billion pounds, I think. Turkish lira is back in the lead in the neck-to-neck -neck race for the world's worst currency in 2018. It's around the sixth level. And according to Holger, its plunge is on par with Mexico and the Asian crises of the 1990s.